Every province is slightly different, but essentially what happens everywhere is in order to get into the water industry, it's best to try and find an opening for a junior level water operator. Um, the only way to get certified is to have hands-on experience. So you can do schooling, so you can do your water quality technologist program at most universities and colleges. But after that, you still can't get certified. You have enough continuing education units, but you actually need hands-on operator experience before you can write an exam. It's the one thing that I like about our industry is that you can't get certified until you actually have physically done some work in the industry. In BC, we, have, we actually have five different levels now. Water treatment, water distribution, wastewater collection, wastewater treatment. So those are the four main certifications. And then you can go operator and training, level one, level two, level three, and level four. And so with those, it just becomes more complicated, the exams. You need more education units and you need more hands-on experience in order to write the higher exams. The facility classifications essentially do the same thing based on size and complexity and treatment processes. It's once again the four, so you've got your water collection, which is your wastewater pipe, like your, your sewer systems, and then you've got your wastewater treatment, you've got water treatment, and water distribution. So collection is, is sewer in the ground, uh, distribution is water in the ground, so potable water in the ground. And then they have the four level the four different levels for facility classifications and your certification at least in BC is in order to meet the standards is that you have to be at the same certification level as your facility or at the minimum one below.